whether you ride competitively, just for fun, or maybe you enjoy a cruise with your mates, one area which will benefit all parts of your cycling is good bike handling. Good bike handling will not only make your ride smoother and more relaxing, but they'll also help keep you safe. So, to help you along in this respect, we thought we'd share with you all a few handy little bike handling drills that you can practice on any ride. Learning to come to a stop, balance and track stand is a valuable skill. It will help you to exit junctions at a faster speed as you won't need to clip in again to get going. And what's more, it will really help you balance on the bike when riding on steep climbs at slower speeds. Now the best way to practice this is to find a quiet, gently sloping road and put your best foot forward. In my case, my right foot or pedal. Now you want to point your front wheel up the slope and find the balance point. Now, if you're not confident doing this at first, I'd recommend wearing trainers. Put pressure down on your front foot to drive the bike forward and relax to let the bike roll down the hill. Personally, I find it much easier to do this out of the saddle. And what I'd really recommend is trying this in this scenario so you can get a feel for the balance of the bike because what follows in a bit is a little bit more complicated. When riding in a group on a steep climb, this skill is especially useful. Unclipping at such moments can make it so hard to get going again and regain your momentum. So learning to track stand on a steep climb is especially useful. It means if anyone stops in front of you, you can safely stop, pause and restart safely. The best way to practice this is to get used to handling your bike at slower speeds on a steep climb and then progress to stopping momentarily and restarting again. If you want any more detailed help on how to learn to track stand, you can find a previous video right here. Oh, Christ, I'm just gonna walk. I'm just gonna walk, it's easier, isn't it? Okay, so many of us cyclists have some spare bottles laying around at home, I do as well, but I uh, <clears throat> forgot them. So I've improvised and I've brought some other objects with me. And the reason I've brought my handlebar bag, my saddlebar banana and my Enovit bar is because I want you all to use such items to lay out a bit of a slalom course down in a kind of quiet car park or any empty space, because this next drill is a great one for improving your handling. So you want to lay them down and a step and a half between each obstacle. Quite big steps, so I'll try and keep them a bit smaller than usual. Okay, lay them all down. Then next up, you're going to grab your bike. So be careful not to touch any of the obstacles. And if you want to make this harder, you can speed up or you can shorten the gap between the obstacles but I'd recommend first getting used to the slalom before you make any changes. And this is a great way of improving your all-round bike handling and especially your cornering when you get back out on the road. Another tip to remember when doing this is to put your pedal in the right position. So when you're turning left, put your right pedal at six o'clock. Right, put your left pedal at six o'clock. And this is a great habit to get into when you're cornering back out on the road. Another simple and effective skill is to learn to pick up an object from the ground as you're riding. Before you pick anything off the ground, you need to practice the movement that you'll be using when you're doing it. So you want to lean to the side of your bike, reach down like so. Once you feel confident doing that, it's time to practice it with a water bottle. Remember, this is pretty tricky, so it's best to try it at slower speeds. But well, hey, and stay patient, give yourself a few attempts and you'll get there in the end. If it helps, you can get really low and kind of get down on your crossbar like that to reach down. Road bikes are designed for riding on um, well, the road, but taking a road bike off-road onto a soft stretch of grass or maybe a gentler section of gravel is a great way of getting used to handling your road bike on trickier terrain. It will benefit your bike handling all round. So 
Next time you're out on a ride, factor in a soft stretch of grass and get used to riding on it. You could maybe even throw in some static 180 turns or try it on a steeper gradient, which will be more of a challenge. Try riding out of the saddle and notice how your balance is amplified in greater ways when you are riding on such a terrain. This is a brilliant way of improving your bike handling all round and getting used to your road bike and how it handles on trickier terrains. And it will benefit you when you get back on the road. Ever dropped a bottle or bar on a ride? It's a pain, isn't it? And it involves an immediate U-turn to go back and recollect that item. As someone who raced, and as anyone else who raced would know, being able to catch a bottle from the side of the road is an essential skill to make sure you're fueled throughout the whole race. But being able to catch a bottle is a great skill for general riding too. Maybe you're eating a bar with one hand or drinking a bottle with one hand. If you drop that item and fumble, it's great to be able to recatch it. Okay, a good way to practice this is to simply try juggling with one hand whilst you're riding. So first, make sure no one's behind you and do this on a quiet road, and then simply juggle with the bottle. So throw it in the air and catch it. You can try adding in a few spins to make it a little harder. But of course, always look at the road in front of you whilst you're doing this and not at the bottle, and always fully focus on that road. Trying this in a controlled setting will help you next time it happens accidentally. And we'll help you avoid maybe steering off course, or even worse, crashing. So I hope some of these skills have helped you improve your riding ability. Some of them are a bit of fun, but that's what riding is all about, isn't it? And they will help you improve your all-round bike handling ability. What I say is the most important skill is to learn to scan the road ahead, far down the road, and look for any potholes or oncoming obstacles which you may need to adapt and change your line for. And also, get used to changing for any oncoming terrain so you can adapt your riding style. This is an important skill because it will keep you safe on the road and mean you won't have to do any last minute changes. Any other skills that you can think of, please let me know in the comment section below. Anything fun or interesting. Personally, I love riding on beaches, but well, I couldn't find any in the box world around here, so yeah, I'll keep working on that. Well, maybe in a future video. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and see you all soon.